printers are unable to print at the edge of the page. This creates an unwanted white margin around your document. To avoid this issue, you need to add a bleed to each print document you design. Bleeds extend colors and elements past the edge of your document so that it can be printed and trimmed down to size with no unwanted white margin around the edges. This video will go over how to add and export bleeds to InDesign files. University Print and Mail Services requires that each document have a 0.125 inch bleed. This is a standard bleed for every print job, including posters, mailers, business cards, etc. Let's start by adding a bleed to a document. To create a document with bleeds, open InDesign and click File, New Document. To add a bleed, go to the bleed section and click on the arrow under the section titled top until you see 0.125 inches. Adjusting the bleed under one section will auto-populate the rest. Now click create. The artboard has been created. You'll be able to tell that a bleed has been added to your document by seeing the red line around the document. Make sure any colors or pictures meant to go to the paper's edge extend past the edge to the red line. Doing so will ensure that there is no unwanted white space when printing. Next, let's add a bleed to an InDesign document that is already created. Open the document, click File, Document Setup, click on Bleed and Slug. In the first box next to Bleed, type in 0.125, then hit Tab on your keyboard. The other boxes will auto-populate. Click OK. The red line around your document shows a bleed has been added. Adjust your document's elements to go to the red line if needed. To export an InDesign file with bleeds, you need to create and export a PDF. To do so, go to File, click Export, type the file's name and select where it should be saved to. Make sure the format is set up to Adobe PDF Print. Click Save. Click on Marks and Bleeds in the side menu. Under the Marks section, only click Crop Marks. Under the Bleed and Slug section, click the box next to Use Document Bleed Settings. Click Export. That's it! Now you can email the PDF to your project coordinator for printing.